Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Mario Kart 8 Roulette Challenge where Ben and I are trying to three star every cup with randomly chosen carts and characters. Ben, we didn't do so good last time. Yeah, no, uh, you, you say trying, and I feel like I always make a joke about how, like, really you're trying, and I'm just kind of here to talk. But oh, uh, sure. last last round was emphasis on trying. We oh we gosh. had a bad go. We um, barely even got the participation trophy. So we need Look redemption time There's, strong. Oh, we were complaining about having a silver next to the leaf cup. No, next to that silver cup, there should be something. But there's a yellow dot. A yellow dot. A yellow it, participation a dot. dot. Awful, awful. So we're gonna hopefully do better today. This is this is half the problem. This is awful setup. Fact. Uh, Roy in the GLA with the standard tires. Bad setup. Anyway, Derek, maybe you'll roll some better dice this time. I blame you. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> five. Yeah. Five. All right. Those. Five, four, two, three, four, five. Derek. Uh, two dead. Okay. Okay. All I would right, take right. Toadette. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see what. Okay. All right. Cyber Slicks. 18. Boy, of course you get a sunflower. All right. What are, what are the steps? Down the middle. Yeah. Pretty average. Pretty as you might expect from Le Villager. <laughs> 13. You oh, got gosh. the moped. Do you always get the orange I do. Tires? What is happening? 22. Mm -hmm. Someone should, like, make a chart of what we've had, or, like, like I'd like to see, like, a dot matrix. Sure. You know, must Gosh. lean into, like, a specific thing somehow. I'm going to be how. so slow. Oh, oh, you. But you have uh, Can we tell? I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> It's it's fine. We just need something. We need a poster on the wall at the office that just says it's fine. It's fine. That we can right. go and stand under when things are just fine. Yeah. Okay. So uh, special cup, not so good. We're going to the lightning cup cup this time. It's got my least favorite course, Grumble Volcano, on it. So I'm not super thrilled about that. But I, it does have the N64 Rainbow Road, which is one of my favorite courses. Ooh. Hmm. I wish it was three laps, but whatever. I don't like the N64 Rainbow Road as much. I do. Oh, oh man. <laughs> All right. Tick tock clock. clock. Oh, jeez. Here we go. I'm really hoping this is a inside drifting bike. I'm really hoping that this works at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's uh, not. Sophonitis okay. asks, what is your favorite childhood movie and why? I mean, we talk about them all the time on this channel. That's true. Hey, I, probably first, The Emperor's like, New Groove oh, is pr I was probably my favorite childhood movie. We watched that movie so much, and I just remember laughing at it all of the times. Yeah, that was one that like the whole family quoted. Like even yeah, mom. like even now the family <laughs> will quote The Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, like our mom, our dad, everyone just loved it. Yeah, that uh, was that was a really really good one, um, yeah. and that was one that like I don't actually I remember seeing it in theaters, but like I don't remember having like any special like, like excitement going into it. And then yeah. I think the you know like the breaking of the what is it fourth wall fifth wall tenth fourth wall, wall fourth wall fourth wall yeah the tenth wall the tenth wall. <laughs> Boy, what is that? You're like. I, I feel like I'm always inclined to want to call it the third wall for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, if you picture a room with. Four walls? With walls, yeah, that would. I I completely understand it. I think it's like I heard the phrase wrong from the beginning, and just I, maybe I didn't even hear it wrong. Maybe I just remembered it wrong. Third wall just sounds more appealing to me than fourth wall. Um, but yeah, I think that that was one of those things where I was like, oh my god, how clever is that? They're like talking to us, the audience. Like they <laughs> they like literally stopped the movie and drew like an X on the screen. Um, yeah, oh, that was the, I love that. Yeah, Cusco is just like. Oh, no. I, I will toss another one out there because I know that um, your wife and my girlfriend watched it over the weekend uh, at Tyler's fiance's bachelorette party. It is no. the parent trap. The parent trap. Yes, the parent with trap. With Lindsay Lohan. With Lindsay Lohan was one of oh these movies gosh. that, like, obviously, you know, we grew up in a family with three boys. Um, I don't think it was probably intended for our household as much. I think it was. <laughs> um, I think it was intended for anyone with feelings and parents. Yeah. Freaking second. I lost the other. The thing about having the villager Eighth. is... I'll take it. There you go. <laughs> so we're not going to get a three star. We've already established that. Wonderful. But gold in general, still on the well, table. We like gold. We, we like, like gold. gold. We had the pectus metal bar fun surgery. Wouldn't recommend it. Zero out of ten. Would not metal bar again. Um, <laughs> but I remember the medicine they gave me for it uh, made me sleepy. And we were at Grand... 
medicine anymore, which meant that I was just weak uh, and could not fall asleep because my body had become like dependent upon it. Uh -huh. No good. Great so, for uh, uh, an 11-year-old to be addicted to drugs. Yes, yes. Very, very what you want to happen with your kids when you have them is for them to be addicted to sleeping pills. At 11. At 11. So there I am. Uh, yeah, I'm a nurse. Uh, well, that's but, not fair. Uh, so I was like, so. I remember telling mom, I was like, I can't go to sleep. And like, she understood what was happening. She's like, well, do you want to go like watch a movie? And they just bought the parent trap. And I was like, okay. And so I went downstairs and watched The Parent Trap, and I still didn't fall asleep, so you know what I did? Watch it again? I watched it back to back! <laughs> no! Oh, I did not know that story, oh, that thing. is amazing! Yeah, yeah. So, um, great story, go. great story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you wonder what drove me crazy about the fact that you got to stay up late, was that, I think I brought this up on this channel before, but you were a morning person and I was a night person, uh -huh. and at night I wasn't tired because I was a night person. And it wasn't like mom was like, oh, well, you can stay up too since Jonathan is. It was like, no, you have to go to bed while Jay stays up and watches cartoons. And I was I like... I really remember us being having different bedtimes. It was only when you had the surgery. This, uh, was, this was like an exception oh, type thing. I see. Yes. And I remember Gosh. it because... Because um, you thought it was unfair. Yes. I see. Well... Anyway. So then that, maybe did they must have changed the pills though because I don't remember you being addicted to sleeping pills. Yeah, no, I don't. I think that was the thing. I think that I was not good at swallowing pills, and so they did have to give me something different. Oh, interesting. Yeah, well, that's um, your own fault. Ah, uh, yes, yes, it was. I completely 100% agree. Um, I think if you have trouble swallowing pills, you need to get over it and just be better at swallowing pills. Probably. It's a tough pill to swallow. Ha! <laughs> I see what ha. you did there. Ha, I man, I'm feeling good about that one right you now. You did there. That's just oh, gonna man. be the rest of my day. I get to have had said that. Yep, <laughs> that is, that is, that you did. Oh, man, I have fallen in this water pool every single time. I'm in 12 again. All right, DK, what's our next question? Uh, oh, for yeah. first place. Yeah, pair trap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Trap and then, and uh, Emperor's New Year. Emperor's New Year. Emperor's yeah, Excuse me. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Megan Dugas, possibly Duga, depending on how French she is. Uh, said, I know that you guys are into Harry Potter. Is there another book series you like a lot? Um, those, I don't even like books. No. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to read. <laughs> yeah, I've been listening to all I don't read, but no. Uh, uh, let's see. There's no other books that even come close to, like, um, no series, at least, that has, uh, captured my attention like Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Um... I really, really liked The Hunger Games when I was reading through them. I think I read the entire series in, like, four days. Yeah, The Hunger uh, Games was totally one of those, like, where it was a super easy read. So, I would I would definitely agree, like, from a series standpoint, that was probably... I would say it's probably up there with, like, my next after Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of what else I have read throughout my life that I really, really loved, though. Mm. I'll um, say in, in seventh grade, I discovered the uh, the Narnia books. Mm, just yeah. sort of, like, completely on my own, which I think was, like, way different than I'd, like, had anything else to read ever. Like, I never, like, read through, like, a full-on series of books before. And, like, they just all, like, pre-existed. And, like, you constantly had to be reading something for, like, you know, class. And so, like, I remember just checking them out of the library one by one and being like, man, these are, like, really good. Uh, like, I can't believe no one else has talked to me about these or told me about this or whatever. It sort of, like, just felt like I was on, like, my own little private journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually yeah. do remember that. Um, and... Uh, man. Yeah, that was that was that was an interesting one, um, and that was interesting even because I think you got really into it, and I remember you being into it, and I don't think that I ever felt the need to go on to read them. Yeah, well, that's one of those where it's like, uh, as an adult, and I'm like sort of re-listening to them right now. Uh, it is like overwhelmingly like Christian. Yeah, uh, like, right, right, right. You so know, maybe you wouldn't like, notice that as a yeah, kid. Yeah, but like, so as a kid, this is like one of those things like we didn't really go to church or anything. Um, so, like, this was, like, lost on me as a kid. I was just like, oh, man, that lion came back to life. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> I love the way the lion man, came back to life. So, uh, <laughs> what an original concept. <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, so stuff like that. <laughs> you know, seventh graders aren't very smart, so. Do you Sorry. guys ever read uh, That's Lord, not true. Lord of the Rings? Plenty of seventh graders are smart. I had so much trouble with Lord of the Rings, and I think the same reason it has actually prevented me from reading Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. um, I read The Hobbit and loved it, and then started reading um, Fellowship of the Ring. Fellowship of the Ring, and I literally could not keep up with the characters, and it was just like, what is happening? And I like, I could not get into the world even at all. Like, I just, I didn't find it fascinating. I was, it was not relating to the characters. 
Um, it just seemed like so much stuff was happening, and I huh. felt constantly confused. Mm. And that was a—I think I remember that being a pretty big disappointment because I had read the Harry Potter series at this point, or up to however many. Um, yeah. Well, after you've read Harry know. Potter, anytime you like, there's like may, maybe this could be that again. Right. Right. You right, know? right. Like you yeah. just you want it you so want, bad. Yeah. Uh, I remember in particular Lord of the Rings. Like those movies were coming out right as I was in eighth grade. And like when like people were like really getting into it, and so like this resurgence for our generation to like read the books, and that was like probably the worst year of school for me ever. Oh, we just like, moved. We just moved, and I did not handle it well. And uh, so like I had read The Hobbit as well, and I really liked that. And then I was just sort of like in the middle of reading Fellowship of the Ring, and it was just like yeah, uh, dealing with everything else was just making it not fun. Right. Uh, so, then just didn't continue on after that, and you know, ironically, I like the movies; they're really good. On the note of eighth grade, um, a book—not it's not even a book series; it's a type of book that I got really into. Uh, in eighth grade, we had to read the book *Night*, which was about the oh. Holocaust. Yeah. And, oh, man, um, yes. I this was it. a. This day, don't know what was driving my fascination so much, but I, I got very interested in sort of like the Holocaust <clears throat> and all that stuff. Um, so I read, like, I checked out, this was probably the only time in my life that this was the case for me, where I was, like, choosing to go to the library, not knowing what book I was getting, going to, like, a section where they had the, the Holocaust books, and just picking one up and checking it out, and reading it completely on my own. Um, so you, like, weirdly into the Holocaust. Uh, yes, I think I found the... To phrase it in a really poor way. Okay, <laughs> so, like, yes, to phrase it in an extremely poor way. Um, I think I it's like, actually very interesting, because I like the TV show I'm Naked and Afraid the now, and just there. I am Sorry. not going to compare the two, even for one instance, but I think um, there may have been some something about maybe, like, the suffering or, or over... That... Survival situation. Uh, yes. Yeah, I think I think the idea of like how how these people did learn to survive and like the things that became so important to them because everything else was so difficult. <coughs> um, that was actually I did not have that on. Man, that one is like there's really wide roads and you could like drift forever and just be flying. Something I don't even know what hit me uh, and I just got passed and I saw a blue shell come up with like it was not me big, that time. There's a big chunk of race. Left and it's like your move. Like I think the racers are moving so fast they did not catch first place before they got instead? to the line. No, oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh! Like, I, gotcha. I didn't get to reap the benefit of it. Anyway, another you know what's a book series that we got really into that you just reminded me of. What's that? Was this was when we were much younger. The yes, best. that was that was so fun because mom would like read to us every night. And yes, Encyclopedia Brown was so great because. You know, you're reading like mini stories. Yes. So, like, we could read two or three of them a night, and the answer to the riddle was always like on the, the last yeah, page like of the, the book or whatever. Back book. Um, but that was always one that I think even. Mm -hmm. um, where it seemed like, you know, we would get really excited about it and constantly go through it. And then, like, a lot of times, like, she would read the answer and, like, slowly maybe, like, walk us to it. But I had so much fun with the Encyclopedia Brown books. Encyclopedia oh. Brown. Uh, let us know down in the towel section if you easy an adult I, I bet easy I bet easy but uh, basically what it is yeah it's like each each little story is like this kid uh, trying to solve some like neighborhood mystery or his dad the police chief telling him a story and asking his son to solve it which seems a little stupid. <laughs> like, hey, hey be but, better at being a policeman. But dude. they could solve a crossword puzzle in seven minutes flat. I don't remember they were that detail. smart kids. But yeah, so really, really fun way to read books. And then, so, like, you, you, the uh, reader, are supposed to like try and figure it out before uh, Encyclopedia tells you the answer. Yeah. Anyway, great books. Thank you for watching. We got a, a, a gold. Yay! Much better we, than last episode. We did it. No participation yes, trophy this no week. No participation. Actual gold trophy. Uh, please leave a like on this video if you haven't already. And subscribe so you don't miss any future Mario Kart action from us. We will see you next time. Let's get gold.